Shall we begin? Why would a good God allow suffering to exist? Suffering to exist. Does God really exist? Really exist? Let's begin now. Why did God command the deaths of so many people in the Bible? People in the Bible. Why does God remain so hidden? Remain so hidden. Tom Harper wrote a book called The Pagan Christ in which he tries to show that Christianity is actually a copycat religion. It borrows stories from the past. Is this true? I've invited Dr. Tony Costa here to answer this question. The book by Tom Harper entitled The Pagan Christ is a book that argues that Christianity was simply a copycat religion, that it copied all of its ideas and its views from ancient Egypt. This view is a view that is widely discarded by the majority of New Testament scholarship today, and that's simply because there is no relation between the historical Jesus and ancient Egyptian religion and ancient Egyptian gods. As a matter of fact, the early Christian movement began in a first century setting, and that it arose and emerged out of first century Judaism, with no relation whatsoever to the polytheistic religions of the ancient world. The interesting thing, though, about Tom Harper's book is that it has an appeal to the general audience. It is something that is appealing, fascinating, it's, it's captivating, but any serious student of history knows that such claims of, of, copycat, of copycats of Christianity and Egyptian religion is something that simply is not true. The other thing we also have to bear in mind is that one of the major weaknesses of Harper's book on the pagan Christ is an idea called parallelomania. And what that means is that whenever people see an alleged parallel between ideas or concepts, they immediately assume that the later one simply copied from the earlier one. And this, of course, is a mistaken way to do history. And therefore, the, the idea that Christianity is a copycat religion, this has also been made famous by the DVD uh, video known as Zeitgeist. And a lot of these claims simply fall apart. Egyptologists who are trained in the uh, history of ancient Egypt have also made the claim very clearly that there is no link between early Christianity and ancient Egypt. And so while this is appealing to the general audience, the general public, it is something really that has no basis in history or any basis in fact. <laughs> 